Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about how thermal power plant works and also we will try to understand its layout with advantages, disadvantages and applications. Introduction to thermal power plant. We all are aware with the term generator, a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy is known as generator. This generator rotates with the help of some kind of external energy. When this energy extracts from the energy of steam, the plant is known as steam power plant. A thermal power plant uses thermal energy from fuel to produce electric power. Normally, coal is used as the source of thermal energy. This thermal energy is used to heat water and produce steam. Steam is used to pass through the turbine. Turbine rotates. The rotation of turbine helps to produce power at the generator. Due to the use of coal in thermal power plant, it is also known as coal based thermal power plant or coal thermal power plant. In addition to that, due to use of steam turbine arrangement, it is also known as steam turbine power plant. History of thermal power plant In the 18th century, the thermal power plant exists with a lot of improvements in the reciprocating steam engine. This reciprocating steam engine is used to develop the steam and with the use of electric generator makes or produces the electricity. In the year about 1905, the turbines entirely replaced reciprocating engines in large central power stations and it continues the improvement processes. Definition of thermal power plant A thermal power plant is one kind of a plant or a system which is used to produce electrical power by using thermal energy. Coal is mainly used as a fuel. Normally brown, bituminous and pit coal are widely used. Water is used as secondary fuel which helps to transfer thermal energy from coal. There are various components of thermal power plants. Working principle of thermal power plant. A thermal power plant converts chemical energy of fossil fuels such as coal, gas, etc. into mechanical energy which can be further converted into electrical energy by using an electric generator. The basic components of thermal power plant are Boiler It is used to produce high pressure, high temperature steam from water after absorption of heat. This heat required is obtained by burning the fossil fuels such as coal in the combustion chamber. Steam turbine. High pressure, high temperature steam produced in the boiler is sent to the steam turbine. At the inlet of the turbine, a nozzle is provided. While passing through the nozzle, pressure energy of steam is converted into kinetic energy. Velocity of steam is increased. High velocity steam jet issued from nozzle are allowed to strike over the blade mounted on the rotor of steam turbine. Electric generator Output shaft of steam turbine is coupled to a shaft of electric generator. This electric generator converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy that is electricity. Exhaust to condenser The exhaust steam leaving the steam turbine is passed into the condenser where it is cooled and condensed to give water as a condensate with the help of cooling medium such as 
कोल्ड वॉटर और एयर और कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ वॉटर एंड एयर कंपोनेंट ऑफ थर्मल पावर प्लांट कोल एंड एश सर्किट हियर इज द डायग्राम ऑफ कोल एंड एश सर्किट कोल इज रिसीव एट स्टोरेज यार्ड कोल इज प्रोसेस्ड टू अचीव प्रॉपर साइजिंग एंड देन पुलविराइज टू कन्वर्ट द कोल पार्टिकल्स इन टू फाइन पाउडर बाय मीन्स ऑफ ग्राइंडिंग The advantages of pulverized coal is that it increases the surface area of coal and hence rate of combustion. Ash resulting from combustion is collected and taken to ash storage yard through ash handling system. The second component of thermal power plant is air and gas circuit. Air is taken from atmosphere to the action of pores and passes on to the furnace through air preheater fuel gases are produced when coal is combusted in the boiler the fuel gases after passing around the boiler tubes and superheater tubes in the furnace passes through an economizer and finally through the air preheater before being exhausted to the atmosphere via electrostatic precipitator and chimney the third component of thermal power plant is feed water and steam circuit the condensate that is water leaving from the condenser is extracted by the condenser extracting pump and it is recirculated again in steam power plant the feed water is heated in low pressure heater followed by high pressure heater using extraction steam or boiler feed pump then this feed water is again heated in economizer before it enters into the boiler tube now this preheated water is passed through the boiler tube where it is heated up to saturation temperature so that it can be converted into saturated steam this saturated steam is then passes through the superheater in superheater to convert it into the superheated steam before entering the steam turbine some quantity of steam and water is lost while passing through various component of steam power plant which is compensated by supply of makeup water that is fresh and additional feed water the fourth component of thermal power plant is cooling water circuit here is a figure of cooling water circuit steam leaving from the steam turbine is condensed in condenser at low pressure even below the atmospheric pressure using a cooling medium such as cold water this cold water supply to the condenser also helps in maintaining the low pressure in condenser the large quantity of cooling water is needed which is taken from the natural source river lake or sea however if water is not available in large quantity then techniques of cooling small or available quantity of water is used for this purpose cooling tower is used water is cooled in cooling tower and cold water obtained is sent to the steam condenser this cold water absorbs the heat from the steam to cool and condensed it due to absorption of heat cold water becomes hot and now this hot water is sent back to the cooling tower here it gives away the absorbed heat and becomes cold again this cold water is again sent to the steam condenser through circulating water pump and the cycle is repeated again and again
why thermal power plant are required the thermal power plant is based on old methodologies the demand for power is increasing day by day it is relatively cheap power cost comparative to nuclear power plant solar power plant or hydroelectric power plant and it also helps to meet the power demands although many countries are installing clean energy or renewable plants thermal power plant are widely taking part to produce a huge amount of power for us coal is easily available coal is cheap the cost of nuclear power plant solar power plant are too high advantages of thermal power plant it has high hydraulic efficiency it requires less space the reaction turbine use oil free exhaust system it also has a small size it has a high capacity to use high temperature and high pressure this type of turbine has a high working speed it is easy to construct this advantages of thermal power plant this type of turbine generates thrust force it confronts the problem of cavity it does not have symmetrical blade these turbines require high maintenance than impulse turbine 